guys. Welcome to Way to Sun. Um, in case you can't tell by what I have sitting in front of me, we're going to make some hand sanitizer today. I actually have been trying to do this video for weeks, but our store had no aloe vera gel whatsoever. However, today I found something that I think might be a good substitute, so we're going to call this the hand sanitizer hack. I did not experiment with this yet, so we are not 100% sure if this is even going to work all the way, but I couldn't resist when I saw this on the shelf. I'm like, okay, we have to get this. I have to try. I did go ahead and get two bottles while I was at Walmart um, to pour the hand sanitizer in. Aren't those pretty? I love those colors. Um, so there's that. I'm spurred to do, to do this because look, my hand, I'm almost out of my big bottle. This is what we use like constantly in here in our little dwelling cave. <laughs> Set that over there for a second. Um, I have 91% rubbing alcohol. CDC website said to use 75% or higher, so I'm pretty sure the 91 will work. I have seen a few people saying it has to be the 99% alcohol. I, I don't think so. As long as it's above 75%, I think you're going to be good to go. What is on the bottle? Who knows with this household right now? I'm telling you. Okay. And then here's the hack part. I bought Johnson & Johnson Baby Gel. This has um, shea and cocoa butter oil gel. The whole purpose of the gel is to act as a moisturizer and a thickener for the alcohol. It is not to do... It has nothing to do with the bacterial germ killing part of it. So I went ahead and got this. The way to do it is um, it's a two to one ratio. So you do two thirds cup of the rubbing alcohol, which we will do right now. Maybe if I can get it open. <clears throat> I was so excited. Mom and I ran into Walmart today. Uh, it's funny because she said, I've got to go get two things. And over $100 later, we are walking out of Walmart. And I'm like, okay. So this poor measuring cup, you guys, um, we have had this for years. It is a Pampered Chef measuring cup. In one end, if I can get it to work, because my I lifted water today, and so my shoulder is like really, really jacked up. Hold on. Oh, no, honey, I can't get it to move. There it goes. When you pull it down one way, you use this part for the dry, and then you, when you shove it back in the other way, oh gosh, uh, use this part for the wet stuff. So, anyway, um, and it's upside down. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, equipment malfunction, equipment malfunction. Uh, uh. Somebody had it in there upside down, so I couldn't measure my liquid. It did. What, what? What, what? Okay. Hold on. Ugh. Oh. Good night. It might be time to buy a new one, because seriously, that's getting too hard. All right, so, as I said, two-thirds cup rubbing alcohol, which I don't know why I put that top back on there like that. So I'm going to measure that in there. Woo! Da-da-da! And then one third cup gel. And I can't. Okay, I don't think there's a there's no seal on that. So let's get the gel going. And this might require hubby because it takes a lot of squeezing. And my hand and my well my shoulder. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know if you guys have ever had a shoulder injury. Hold on, that's gonna take two years to do it that way. But it is, like, difficult to come back from. Hubby's coming. He's, he's coming to my rescue. Hopefully he doesn't break the cap in the process. I was just trying to get that off so I could squeeze it out faster, but... I just might need you to squeeze it into the cup. You might be able to squeeze it better than I can. Because I'm, like, really feeling not strong. Oh, hey, there, he got it. Sweet! Got it? I think I got you it. loosened it up for me. You're funny. All right. Yeah, we would have been here like forever doing that. All righty. And then I've got a third, actually a tiny bit over a third cup, but anyway, it'll work. Third cup gel going in. I was going to smell it. 
That smells not very shea buttery. <laughs> I think it's because I smell the alcohol in the cup still. Because that 91% is really strong. Ooh, that does smell good. Okay. And then you can add um, essential oils to this if you want. I'm going to give this a really nice, long, good stir. Uh, part of our van life is that we have shrunk down. You know what? I think that's thickening up better than the aloe vera stuff that I've seen people using. Well, that's cool. Nice. Dude, I'm impressed with how that thickened up. Um, people are adding... Oh, I was going to say, with our van life, I got rid of our whisk, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> So I'm using a fork, which, you know, is better than a spoon when you're trying to blend things, in my mind. I, I could be wrong. I'm not a chef. But anyway, and then, hey, babe, in that pink basket over there is, hold on, I want to smell this, you guys. Whew, very alcoholic. Wow. In that pink basket over there is a uh, peppermint oil. You see where the pink basket is, right? Look, there you go. <laughs> ah. oh. Can you open that for me, please? And then try to get the roller out of that so I can squeeze some of that in here. So people have been adding oils, essential oils. Um, one, for the moisturizer part of it, and two, uh, for the scent. And so we're going to try to do that. I don't know if Hubby can get the ball out of the top of that because this is just a roller type oil. I do like the way that has thickened up. It's definitely... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching Hubs over there. Okay. That sucks. Yeah, that's what it takes. Uh, he's trying. He's working on it. Now... I will say that our Walmart here locally has started resupplying on a lot of things. The only things they were still out of. I can't get it, but maybe you can do it. Oh, you did it really so, good. So I'm just using this. And obviously it's not going to drop in. So I'm going to pour a little bit, do a little stirring. Please don't spill. And see how I like it. But our Walmart here in town was... Um, Really starting to get stuff back in stock, which is good because they were wiped out of everything. The most the uh, empty shelves that I saw was still cleaning supplies and um, eggs. There was like no eggs. Well, that definitely helped. I see a floater in my gel. That's not good. I'm going to add some more though. And this is just a preference, you guys. Like whatever your personal preference is for this. Um... And then I was gonna, I don't have a funnel, that's the other downside, to the, boy, to the van life is we don't have a funnel. So, let me grab this napkin, I'm gonna move this oil away from this table and set it over, because I'm kind of a jiggly table person here, but I'm gonna pour this into my little measuring cup right here, and hopefully... Uh, that will enable me to pour it into one of these bottles because it has a little spout on it. I don't know if you guys can see the little spout. So, yeah. 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 Ooh. Yeah, there's still... Okay, hold on. There's like still a lot of the gel on the bottom of the bowl. So let's... I hope this doesn't turn into a fail <laughs> using a different kind of gel. I'm whisking more vigorously. You guys are literally watching. This will either be a, a fail on the hand sanitizer or an excellent one. Oh man, I can really smell that coconut or that peppermint oil. Yep, that's going to have to do. You just got. I think you have to move quickly because otherwise it's going to separate again and again. So let's get this into one of these bottles and then we can shake up the bottle and it's like the lime and the coconut and shake it all up. You put the lime and the coconut and say, Doctor, 
yeah, that's working beautifully. Working beautifully. Okay, there's one. Get the lid on it so I don't dump it. Oh, shucks, Chuck. And two. And these bottles are each uh, three ounce bottles. And as you see, there's still a little bit left in there. I'm actually going to add a little bit of alcohol back to that. But there it is in the bottle. Um, and then, of course, we have to do the test, right, to see how it works. So, ugh, that's the shoulder. I can't bend very well. Oh, wow. Oh, you guys. Oh, I like it. I don't know what hubby's looking at over there on his computer, but it looks naughty from here. Oh, I really like that. It is slightly oily. I think I went a little cray-cray with my oil. But as dry as our hands are getting out here, that's probably not a bad thing. So, yeah, I like that. Gonna make more. Gonna make more. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe like and comment I'm not sure what's going on with my videos I have noticed lately that I don't know if comments just aren't showing up or if people actually aren't commenting but um, it has uh, my views have dropped I don't know if it's a YouTube thing I don't know if they've changed like how because I know some of the channels that I have my alerts set to I'm not getting alerted for their videos so I don't know if it's a YouTube thing that's going on but you guys, please, um, if you are watching, be safe, wash your hands, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you'll get my notifications when you ring that bell. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.